this.
Oh yeah, that's like well, job. Go ahead. Oh, it's it's for dampening. For what we're doing, there's a lot of like bass heavy like playing. I have a double kick on this right now, and so I don't want it to be ringing out too much because when you don't have dampening inside of it, it goes boom. And then, so it's like it's more of like just a, a hit, and then there's it just hits the pace. Yeah. It's pretty pretty dry. Pretty just it's yeah, but it's chunky and it hits that way. It kind of like cuts a little more than if it's rings. So yeah, let's just throw some towels in there and it'll do that. And if you just pull them back a little bit, it'll be less, so it's really easy to adjust. Yeah, it's a great way to dampen. Also just on the heads, I don't know if you've ever... Yeah. Just putting little bits of material. Yeah. This isn't just to look cool, though it does. Uh, you know, it, it just takes a little bit high end on, but keeps the ringing. Some of those overtones. Yeah, yeah, it's just vibration. Even right here. You wouldn't believe what it's doing. Get warmed up out here, you know, having fun. How's the paint looking over here?
God damn! <laughs> yeah! You're fucking wrong! Yeah, buddy. That's the spirit right there. Oh! Check it out. I wonder where you're playing next. I can't. Oh, we're about to kick it up. Don't worry. No, no, no. Like, it, venue. Oh, I like coming out here, man. Know, just I in know, public. Because venues are like, oh, well, we kind of just like being raw dog in life right now. You know what I mean? The, side, the sidewalk is the venue anyway. It's just, it's because it's like you get the people that never would go to the venue that way. And so that's kind of who we want to reach is people who aren't already on, you know, whatever you want to call it. We'll just say the frequency. They had a name for it yeah. And no one ever talks about all the white trash talks. I've never heard anyone talk about it. Oh, except for one guy who tried to get star track. So there have been some people. But like it's not talked about like pundits talking about something. It's not that. Same as crowdfunding. The idea is just buying private land and donating it back to the public. It's a thing we can do. Like when there's a corner parking lot, we can crowdfund, buy it, turn it into a park, and then donate it to the public. To be now we have a public park where there wasn't. And of course it's frustrating because yeah, that's what our representatives are supposed to be doing anyway, we should try, but like, that's kind of a side issue because I don't have any, I'm not holding out hope for that. So like, in the meantime, that'd be cool. You ever seen musical parts? Yeah, probably some more artwork in the umbrella. Yeah, that, that sounds like a good Why are they not over there? There should just be a string of fucking xylophones. Are you kidding me? Uh, it'd be good for me. So, not to go on a total rant, but I just like to kind of, <laughs> this is just about filling heads with new ideas that maybe don't normally get popped. I was like, oh, well, I actually, that is cool. You know, maybe we could do that. Obviously, not a musical park stuff that solve all our problems, but like, yeah, just all, all of these not, things are things all, that we not could be doing all more shit. of. This instead of feeling really just defeated and like, about it's all just screwed, so just don't even worry about it. Just ignore it or whatever. That's kind of what that's about. So. Oh, but I mean, like a production. Or oh, well, we, yeah, I record a little bit. We have a little studio that we rent that's like, uh, sometimes we do some recording like that. But coming out here and doing this and just engaging with the public and stuff, and especially with these ideas and stuff, is something that I just want to kind of focus on just get it out of me. I feel like until that's more of a normal thing that everybody's like, oh yeah, electronic signatures, we should do that. Like, that's kind of my goal right now. I'll still do art, I'll still make music, I'll do, and this all kind of, I feel like, we always say Trojan horror song. It's kind of a Trojan horror song, like, because people don't want to talk about pharmaceutical fucking companies and war profiteering, and who does? I don't. I would really rather not, but as long as that's a problem, I can't ignore it, because then I, I'm just haunted. Actually, I think I might have brought a lighter in my backpack. Oh, I did. My bad. I'm sorry, I said I didn't know where to go. You know how these work? Pies are like your lighters? You want to look like you know how they work? Well, yeah, but what generates the spark inside? It's a quartz crystal. When you strike a quartz crystal, the pies are electric. And so it means when you, like, it turns kinetic energy into electrical energy. So these little things that are lighting that set, barbecue lighters, same thing, pilot lighters, they go click, click, click. What that is is a little hammer with a spring. When you do that, it brings it back, and then it, and it goes ding, and it hits a little piece of quartz crystal, and the quartz ejects an electrical spark, and it goes up with the tube to the end of the thing, and like, fun fact, right? This is really cool. It's real shit. Center of Mars. Oh, that was, that'd be a big spark. Yep. That gets an asteroidal impact. That could be a real, a real scene. Right? Wasn't that the court center? It's not magma. Great. Oh, I see. <laughs> sure, a lot is. <laughs> yeah. Our own existence. Sure. I'm here now in this moment. Beyond yeah. that, it's speculative. Yeah. Well, I'm experiencing the moment. That's all I know. Oh, you gotta prove it to me. Oh yeah, that's true. I can never prove it to you. But if I come over and smack you around a little bit, you might feel it. So you probably should act according. I'm not going to do that, by the way. That was a that was a rude metaphor to use. But like, if if I pinch your cheek, you'll still feel it. So it's like, uh, whether or not it's simulated or not, our experience is affected by our by this. It's still affected by it. No. No. We are on the inside of an ultra massive black hole that is collapsing, and all the information generated inside the black hole remains inside the black hole, and the black hole disappears. All information. Created, generated inside there disappears forever. I thought they found out that it actually wasn't true because they found out there was some ra there was some radiated information that does come out of black hole. Radiation. 
but some information would have been like mutated into the radiation they're theorizing. There'd be a way to kind of imprint and reverse engineer it. Well, I've heard that speculated. That's only if it's an expanding black hole.
still evolving I into its uh, final form. But, uh, I fucking I didn't yeah. drop into that uh, half time. Oh, yeah. it, 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 it's it's all right, dude. Hey, thanks for hanging out. Try a little oh, new one out, huh?
was down to the A string. Yo, and I, had, I had to just end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That fucking well, I like to dive back while you're doing that too, dude. You got a little fucking tom shit. <laughs> that sounded good. I haven't heard him whip that one out before. That's a good one. Yeah, I think that was because you hold up here. That's fucking awesome. I almost tripped on my shoe. Yeah, you guys go crazy. That's what's up. Hell yeah, man. Hey, that's the plan. That's the plan. Absolutely.
still not heard of Jimi Hendrix before. Thank you. 
day out here considering what it could have been. We had sunshine for a lot of them. That was nice. Uh, it was a good day and good conversations.
got requested on the community campus. The dead Kennedys. Yeah. Security or different yeah. security? I think Pier 39. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we talked to him the other day. It's like, uh, just want to, you know, some people are aggressive or whatever. Just want to make sure you guys are, you know, I'm like, all right. I thought it was all public property out here. It's an interesting. We saw this like. Oh, it's right there. Where is this it? One? Yeah, that's kind of interesting. I, we saw that earlier. I'm like, I don't think the city would like screw a sign into a tree like that. With, like a laminated piece of paper on so, top like, of it. I didn't know, you know. So we I, come I, out, I we bring the positivity. For, I apologize for the confusion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's this close of five poles right there, Pier 39. Right. From there to Pier 41, you'll, you're going to see the same set of five poles that's within our property. Line, yeah, no, so. he talked to us all about it, but Perfect. he also said we're good to go. So, like, okay. I'll talk to him. Yeah, go ahead. But I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, because we've been you. out here for hours and it's been a super positive day and we just want to continue doing that. Thank you. Really, no reason to like tell us to leave. You know what I mean? It's like we're being, we're, do we're being like positive. No, but he was saying like they like when there's people who are attracting. Like, you know, they're not people here right now because we're not playing, but like, you came by, you saw how much people were enjoying what we're doing. It's like, oh yeah, you're good to go. That's what he, you know, he's like, they like when people are positive and attractive. They don't like when people are aggressive or whatever. And we're, we're not trying to be aggressive either. No, just, oh, yeah. well, no I know. I'm I'll, like, I'll correct him and, and... Or you think he was wrong? No, we hired them to control our property, so yeah, he's fine. Oh. Very wrong. Well, that's interesting. Uh, we're his boss. Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'll talk to him and uh, thank you. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. Yep. Okay. To, to just add that we're trying to be symbiotic out here and, and just present something that's very positive and people enjoy it. Yeah. Oh, I, I haven't heard you guys, but if what you guys are saying is true, I really do want you to audition for the pier. We have musicians in the pier too. We just come through here so infrequently that that's not oh, really okay. like. I got it. It's just that you got to think about locations. Like, there's no neighbors right here. I mean, we don't want to go down and we're, we're too loud to be down. It's like this is just a good spot and it's not hurting anybody. So, like, there's, you know, it, it just it seems like it's kind of like an unnecessary hurdle. I know you guys, like, did you like rent this from the city? He was telling us a little bit like it's like so, a con. Like, basically, it's from the port. More in South is a company that owns Square 39 right now and they rent it from the port. So from the port of San Francisco, correct. it's like from the city. So it's so it's originally it was like a city public property, but then they're renting it. Yeah. Okay. When's the lease up? Indefinite. They gotta keep renewing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, I, you gotta. Ask. I'm just curious. No, I'm just curious, and I appreciate you like talking to this because it's like it is confusing, and when you go out, there's not like again, like from your perspective, the I can sign, see that sketchy. Like the sign on the tree, <laughs> like let's be real, like that looks super. And I'll tell you who did it. It's the leasing department for Pier 39 that did it. And during that time, it was for the vendors, the the hot dog vendors, the alcohol vendors. Right. Because PD will not enforce our policy on private property if there's no sign. So at the time, that's what we were trying to do because we were overrun with vendors. And those vendors were not, they don't have permits. Uh -huh. And selling alcohol to minors. Interesting. Yeah. Well, we're certainly not doing that. We're actually not even vending anything. So, right. we, you know, we're, we're just out here with music and art. It's free. The, you know, I don't know if you saw the board over here. Did you see what we got going on on that side? I know. Uh, to the full extent would be impressive because there's a lot of information out there. But, exactly. you know, trying to just be awareness and like talk about some positive solutions we can like help. Uh, promote like some some uh, more facilitated society than what we have right now for people for like the public you know and like that. and like engaging with that you know with the public is pretty important uh to us you know and it does seem like a public space it does appear for all intents and purposes like a public space and especially like if that's the extent that they've gone to <laughs> to try to demarcate i would like say you should try a bit harder because that doesn't look very pro at all and it doesn't exactly. look legitimate it looks like something maybe somebody else tacked up because they wanted to be territorial that's right. pretty, that's pretty jank. So I won't harp <laughs> on that, but like, for real. And so, yeah, I know you guys are yeah, out we'll here, that <laughs> like, I know this wasn't, you didn't wake up today going, we're gonna go like, screw with these. Like, I know you're just like the, like, so like, per, on a human level, I love you both. There's no like, weird stuff. It is a little frustrating to find yourself in these positions where you're like, people, no, there's never a problem. It's one thing when there's a problem. You'd be like, here's what the problem is. Uh, you're blocking the sidewalk. You're causing a disturbance. There's been complaints. Someone's hurt. There was alcohol to minors. There's illegal sales happening. We can talk about that. 
so far I haven't heard that that's what we're doing or that there's any kind of problem other than just that we're here. Like, right? There wasn't any other problem just in our presence. Performing. Performing. Just performing is a problem. But you guys have performers and stuff. So like that's authorized not Authorized performers versus unauthorized performers. If they have insurance, if they don't have insurance, this is our property. If you get hurt here, the liability is on us too because it's on private property. It's interesting. You guys took a big liability out by doing that considering everybody just rolls around out here. I mean, it... especially on scooters. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. But thank well, you for your time and uh, yeah, I don't mean well, to take up any more. What's up? I don't mean to take up any more of your no, time. No, and that's cool. And like, here, here's what we're thinking. Let me just communicate with you a little bit. Just to be transparent. We're pretty much getting ready to wrap up. We were probably going to play a couple more songs. Okay. And then we're not really planning on coming back through here regularly. We haven't been here in a couple years. Oh, uh, like five. You know? And I don't mean to say that like, don't worry, you'll never see us again. You may well see us again. We may continue to have the conversation, but like... There's a part of me inside my human that has a hard time just being like, well, I guess this, I guess our last song already happened now. So we're probably going to play a couple more songs. And like, if you guys want to call the police, get all, you know, you want to take it to a crazy level, that's on you. We're not going to be here that late tonight. And so like, it's up to you how much you want to push, push this, you know, but like, we're not ready to totally be done. I think it's totally reasonable that just we're here and that our performance isn't, unless you're telling me that it is a problem in some legitimate way, that other than just that we are performing, then I'd be open to discussing that, but like, there's no other problem. May I ask you? Yeah. When are you going to be finished? Well, our meter goes to like 9.45 or 10, but I don't think we're going to be here that late. It looks like it's getting kind of quiet. Is there like, does it get busier out here on Saturday? Or is there like a little more people that come or? I think some people are maybe forming a protest. Oh, really? Yeah, for Shit. for the one, the one, for that one guy that died after the five cops beat him. Oh my God. Oh, yeah, I didn't hear about that. Nichols? So I guess Nichols like that. Yeah. That was here. Really? No. No, it was in Memphis. Tennessee. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, no, I did. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Downtown, yeah. and they, I don't know, there are some people telling us to be careful, be on the toes in case they control this way, or if they're still forming downtown by City Hall, we don't know. But it's happening this week. Yeah, well, so I'm all for peaceful protest. That's yeah. important, you know, so that's good. A good thing. It's too bad what had happened. It started yesterday at downtown. I don't know if they're continuing today and tomorrow, too. Hmm. Okay. Well, it seems like it's getting crushed. So, yeah, well, I mean, we'll play it by ear, but, like... What songs do you play? Is it all original or... Covers? Mostly. Yeah. yeah, mostly. Yeah. Our band's called The Time Is Now. We put our contact there on the uh, thing. You're welcome to check us out. We'll come back. <laughs> right For sure. Yeah. It's to a listen. deep rabbit hole. We'll come back to listen. Right on. Right on. Take care. My name's Alex, by the way. Tommy and Patrice. Joff. Tommy and Patrice. That's Joff. Nice to meet you both. Pleasure to meet yeah. you both. I appreciate you being yeah, cordial. shot of what we're working with out here you know it's too bad because earlier we actually lost footage of us talking with the other security guard there that came by and had a whole conversation with him too and we don't have that footage because the camera got messed up but uh, anyway it was already a thing early day and this was the sign in question this is what they've tacked to the tree out here this pier 39 this is their idea of uh establishing their legitimate quote-unquote ownership at least temporarily or indefinitely of this public space and uh i don't know why that's all chain linked off it's a unique situation out here and we've been out here all day playing as probably there's no need for me to narrate if you've watched any of this this far that would be obvious but uh i guess it just is important to like maybe include this as part of this uh, what we're showing to people because this is something we've dealt with for years and you know if you decided to go digging on the internet a little deeper uh you might see some of the other things that we've run into as far as that goes uh law enforcement fake law enforcement private law enforcement whatever you want to call it it's a lot of forms of stuff that goes rolling around with badges on and tries to tell people things different things sometimes they don't always line up and it's just uh it's a continual frustration for people like us that want to come out, express themselves, artists, musicians, street performers, all of that kind of thing. You know, the guy earlier who was talking to this private security, he's talking about the Bush man down the road. There's, you know, this is, 
This is how we keep it going, is to be able to come out and do it. And if we continually get squashed and run around, you know, the guy earlier, when we talked to him, he initially was like, yeah, you can't be, and we just kept talking. He was like, well, if you, and it was this whole thing. And then it's like, there's this weird gray area. And I don't know, I mean, he kind of talked about it right there. He's like, the police won't enforce it unless there's a sign up. So I guess this fucking sign is now the police will go, well, I guess it says, if that's the kind of the way they're running shit in this town, you know, whatever. It's 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 par for the course, I guess. But I'm sure I'll heavily edit my little fucking rant here. But this is all this is all part of the conversation. This is all part of you know. Let's just focus on this one for a second. I don't think we've given this much face time. Lakewood, New Jersey. This was an article from a few months ago, August eighth, twenty twenty two, from the Asbury Park Press. Lakewood, New Jersey cut down all the trees in their town square because quote unquote homeless people, as they call them, uh, you know, were there in, 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 in amounts just present. Kind of like he said here, just you're here. Not really that you're problem, just that you're here. And so this is all kind of related and it's something that might be invisible to people who just go out and see street performance and are just glad when they see it, but never really realize that in a lot of ways we get fucked with a lot. And Joff and I have like, we've been arrested a bunch of times protesting. We've really like, you know, been willing to like deal with that to a degree that a lot of people, they're not able to, like they have kids, they have things where it's like, you, it oftentimes is effective when they come along and they just go, hey, you know, you just gotta see the flag, see the flag, uh, this is, and people are like, oh, okay, I don't want a problem. And it unfortunately is all too effective in running people out. And when you go walk down a street and you don't see anyone there, that might actually be the reason why. Somebody might have come and tried to be there and then some private security card comes along and goes, ba 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 ba, whatever it might be. Whatever ordinance got cooked up that's probably bogus and unconstitutional, whatever vague nebulous private public they're leasing the space from the city what the fuck ever like does that mean we can't share art out here now like what is that what does that even mean is there a crime happening you know and i get it i get the public private property thing it's a thing i'm not even getting into that it's just frustrating and it is not helping the culture of street performers artists musicians and people that like to come out and share our humanity with each other and there's a reason I'm doing this. It's because I think it's important. It's because we come out and we have tons of interactions with people. We learn new things, we teach them things. It's a circle of fucking life. Let's make the beige cliche ever. Truly though, and that's why I keep doing this. That's why we keep doing this. Is That shit's real, man. And we're not gonna stop doing it, uh, but uh, these kind of things don't make it any easier. And for people that aren't, able to risk certain things or getting all their equipment impounded or something you know they want to impound this and take it you know we've done it before and because this is not something that we just back down on this is we don't have anything left if we don't have the ability to just go out into public and be around each other other than just fucking shopping you know it, we don't have anything left as a culture what do we have corporate bullshit and just nothing else, an infrastructure, just infrastructure. Look at this fucking infrastructure. Wow, some infrastructure. What is it for? What is all this for? You know, is it just to get from point A to point B in our house and our job and the grocery store and shit? Or is there something more here that can fucking be happening? And you know, obviously it's a loaded question, but this is where we're at and uh, you know, they were cool and they'll probably leave us alone now because, you know, I'm like, hey, if you want to call the police and put, you know, they'll probably be like, well, shit, they probably, uh, let's just not deal with it. And so they probably will leave us alone now. But other people who might not be as like, well, hey, what's really going on? They end up just packing up and going away. And then when you walk down the street, there's just nothing there but this instead. And there's plenty of that. There's plenty of that. Look at this fucking space. Oh, you guys are present. Look at us out here. Oh, wow. Wow, we're so in the fucking way. We're just so in the way. Wow, nobody can. Oh, geez, that's such a disruption. I, we, we might be blocking the view of this chain link fence, you know? Look at this space. I know this is ridiculous, but like, you know, what else are you gonna do? It's either this or not sleep tonight. This is their Pier 39 flags they point to. They think they, uh, they think they own everything over there. And whatever, I, yeah, I know, they, leases happen. I'm not saying that's ill, it's like whatever. It sucks that the city decided to just 
lease this whole area to this private company. I mean, that's the real issue. Who the fuck in the city council or whoever in the city government signed off on that? You know what? You know what we should do? Let's just lease all this public space to a private company. Let them run that, even though this is a place where potentially anyone from the world could come and visit. Eight billion people or whatever it is now. This is, this is still a public space. There's no fence. There's no sign. There's a fucking piece of wilted plywood screwed to a tree down there. And that's what they're doing with their entire operation. And here, and there they are down there. I don't even know if you can see that. It's ridiculous. I know blocking a sidewalk or being a disruption or actual issues, I wouldn't try and do that. But like when you're not, you've done everything you can to mitigate it. There's no other options left then. It's just like, you know, go somewhere else. And we will, and there's lots of places to go. But, uh, anyway. Start asking some questions.